hello youtube and welcome to this video in this video we're gonna be finding out if we can use the wpf and the windows form features together in one application so is it possible well yes and we're about to find out how so start the visual studio and create new project we're gonna create a new project of the type WPF and name it Fusion App the project is opened and if you want to start with the windows form then what you have to do is first you have to add a reference and how click the reference and go to assemblies here you will see windows form here it is the windows form system.windows.forms click ok and the assembly would be added here and now you can use windows form in your application and this is how add a new item and here it is windows form add to the project and here is your form now what we want to do is we want to start with the windows form then come to the main windows and do our stuff so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this visibility equals to hidden and we're gonna go we're gonna go to the code section and here we're gonna do visibility no not visibility but we're gonna do height and we're gonna initialize the form so form equals to new form and form dot show dialog and then close the application this is it is necessary to hide the application first it means that we will hide this and then we uh, after the form uh, is shown we will close this application it is necessary because uh, if you directly close this application then the further code will would not be executed so let's see if the windows form appears just after opening the app so now it's opening Uh, it's taking time because it's the first time so yes here is your windows form I'm using windows I'm using a WPF application but here is your windows form so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a button here And what will it do it will redirect us to the WPF go to WPF so inside this we would do the same thing hide and close and between this we're gonna initialize the main window main equals to new main window 
and same thing show dialog but the windows visibility is hidden so we have to first we have to make it visible too so after initializing this i am going to do this main dot visibility equals to visibility dot visible so let's check it out So here is the Windows form running on a Windows WPF application and when we press go to WPF it reopens the form 1. Let's see the problem. Cannot set visibility or show dialog. Okay, we're gonna resolve this. To resolve this, uh, uh, we're gonna create a new constructor here in the main windows coding tab. Here we're gonna create a new and we will not use visibility dot hidden here, but we will use the visibility part here. Visibility equals to visibility dot hidden this dot visibility dot it means the visibility of this windows so it will get hidden and then in here we are creating a new main window constructor and we're gonna give it some variable uh, to not um, make invisible so this is the name of the bool and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna just initialize the component and do not hide the main windows so in the main form we're gonna call the second constructor which which takes an argument of a bool so we have given it an argument of bool which is true now let's see if it does the job so here is your windows form now go to wpf and here is your main window which is a wpf window so you you are using both of the things so we can uh, another thing we can do is in this main window i'm gonna do canvas and i'm gonna create a, a button here And name its content as go to forms and inside the and uh, I'm gonna initialize a click event and inside that click event I'm gonna do hide this exactly this so what it's gonna do is let's see So you have a windows uh, so you have a form in our wpf application and when you click go to wpf it opens the main windows which is a wpf window and when you click go to forms it again open the form and back and forth so this application is complete but wait 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 there's another thing i want to discuss which is the ambiguity thing so the problem uh, there is no problem in using both the windows form and wpf in the same project but the problem comes when you use a class 
which is in both windows form and also the wpf and i'm gonna show an example here that in the main windows the problem comes when you do this using dot system windows dot forms so if you do this and then you came here and type message box message box dot show it will give an error it will give an error of ambiguity this is because in both the assembly windows form and system dot windows a message box is refined so what you can do to get rid of this ambiguity is this system dot windows i'm i want to use the windows form so i'm using this so in this way by doing this i can avoid the ambiguity now, now i'm telling the application that here i want to use the windows form version of the message box so it won't get confused and your app would be okay but be very very careful if you want to use windows form and the system windows uh, uh, in uh, in the same file it is very dangerous and it uh, it welcomes the new error to come so don't uh, just don't do this or use it with caution so that's uh, not the uh, this is not the only uh, ambiguity you would face there are several more classes which would uh, which would get ambiguous like the image class and various other more classes you will use if you use both of them they will cause ambiguity so be careful or just not use it, them in the same file and you would be perfectly fine so so the video is over and i i have told you all the possible ways you can create a w you can use a wpf application wpf windows and windows form features together uh, in one place and how you can switch between them so the video is over uh, please like the video uh, if you like it press like press the like button and if even if you don't like it still press the like button and share the video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps go and press the subscribe button and don't think about it and see you next time